Welcome back to AJ's Wrestling Review. I am, of course, AJ. Today is the review of what we're going to be looking at right about now. You've seen the thumbnail. I know it's been quite some time, but, you know, I hope I didn't keep you guys waiting for too long. I'm finally back, and there's hopefully more videos to follow with this one here. Uh, today, we're taking a look at the Samoan Family Dynasty, or at least part of it. Um, first up, it's going to be Yokozuna, Flashback Elite. And he has that really cool cloth robe there. Cannot wait to get stuck into that figure. Then, next up from there, we're taking a look at Debut Rock, or as he was called at the time, Rocky Maivia. So, this is another figure I'm very excited to have. I'm not too sure, but I think this was like a uh, Toys R Us exclusive in the United States. But nonetheless, it is a very cool figure also. So, cannot wait to get stuck into that. And, um, and then, here we go, the big... Ooh, granddaddy of them all, the uncles of The Rock and Yokozuna, Sika and Afa Anoi, the Wild Samoans. Man, this pack right here, Hall of Fame, two-pack elite, this is like chunky. Like, it is like me and my double chin having ass right about now. This has got some weight to it, but, um, you know, you can see these are two big mean dudes you do not want to mess with. And uh, overall... You know what we got to do? We got to review these figures. So I thank you very much for tuning in. Stick around. Let's get stuck into these figures. Don't you think we should do that? I think we should. Let's do it. But before we get stuck into taking a look at the action figures themselves, you know we got to take a look at that packaging. So let's take a look at Yokozuna once again. Here he is uh, in this flashback elite series. Um, he comes with that SummerSlam sign. So with that sign, you can actually build a 1989 SummerSlam set. The very famous set where Mean Gene Oakland uh, nearly went one-on-one -on -one with that exact same sign there. Gentlemen, as you know, the Ultimate Warrior. Nice Fuck it. <laughs> and also in the series, you've got Ultimate Warrior, Mean Gene himself, and then of course Six, better known as X-Pac. Um, I have all three of these figures. I just needed Yokozuna to complete this um, little set here. So, uh, yeah. Yoko on the back there. Feel free to pause if you want to read uh, what's written on the back. Um, Yoko on the side. And then just his name. There. Bam. There's Yokozuna. Um, and then now taking a look at this rock or Rocky Maivia figure. Check it out. You see... The big old smiley mug on the front of the packaging there. Um, and he has this, uh, I don't even know what to really call this, like Samoan shoulder pad tassel thing. I'm not too sure. I mean, it looks kind of cool. Um, but, you know, we'll get a more detailed look at that once we get it up out of the packaging. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the only accessory that you get with this. Um, you know, side of the packaging. Bam, here's another shot of smiling Rocky Maivia. Once again, that exact same shot, just way bigger. And uh, as always, like I said, feel free if you want to pause and read the description on the back of the box. Otherwise, yeah, that is Rocky Maivia. And now finally on to the Hall of Fame Elite 2-Pack Wild Samoans. Get a look at that right there. Look at their faces, man. Like... And you know, you like when your figures have like really like colorful expressions because you know That's what action figures are all about, right? You know, they're not meant to just be like plain blank faces So these are all very cool figures um, packaging here as you can see Hall of Fame um, There it is 2007 the Wild Samoans Afa and Sika Anui and then on the back once again a much bigger picture no description for them but also in this same series, you have Papa Shango and the Ultimate Warrior, which I also have. Um, and yeah, there we go. That is the Wild Samoans. So let's not waste any time. Let's get these up out of the packaging. And how are we going to do that, you might ask? Well, of course, with the trusty Swiss Army knife. I thank you very much for watching. Let's get these guys up out of the packaging and take a much more closer look at each and every single one of them. Here we go. And here at AJ's Wrestling Review, we've upped the production quality just a little bit by incorporating this nice rotating display. Very easy to see the figures here, um, nice and smoothly, as well as it's much more easier for me to give comments and criticisms about them. 
um, from my view rather than holding up to the camera. So there you go, we've got a nice little rotating display. Works wonderful, doesn't it? So this is Yoko in his robe. Um, also, here is the SummerSlam sign. I don't know if this is something really I should point out, but hey, nonetheless, it's an accessory. He came with it. Here it is, SummerSlam sign for you. And obviously, it'll just clip in like that to the uh, little background stand thing, whatever you want to call it. Damn it, who put that up? Is that $200 an hour? And um, yeah, taking a look at Yokozuna here, really a huge fan of this um, cloth robe. I love the checkered pattern. Pretty much exactly identical to what he used to wear in his ring entrances. And then um, another thing too that I really like is that the hair here um, is in a nice cool sumo wrestler type bun. So yeah, there we go. That is Yokozuna in his entrance gear with the robe on. Now let's get that robe off and see what he's working with underneath, shall we? Here we go, taking a look at Yokozuna with the robe off. As you might be able to tell just up on the back there and then slightly on the shoulders, even looking at the front here, there are a lot of paint defects with this figure. Um, nonetheless, it could probably be touched up easily somewhere down the line, but the most noticeable one is, yeah, definitely that one on the back there. So that is very disappointing, um, but I'm not going to let that take away from what the figure is actually meant to be. Um, the tassels too, they're all kind of like, you know, crumbled up in the packaging, so those should kind of just hang freely down. Unfortunately, they're kind of like, you know, all just bunched together. I mean, I don't really know how else to explain it. it just doesn't quite look right. So yeah, but um, anyway, let's take a little bit of a close up here at Yokozuna. I just want to point out this attire as well too. I could not find this online at all. I could not find him actually wrestling in this exact attire. If anyone can pinpoint any type of certain match or appearance that he made where he was wearing this black with like red band attire, um, I would really appreciate it. But for the most part, I could only find his traditional um, looks that he wrestled in which was of course the red um, tights with black band but yeah this kind of reverse color is really neat I like it um, in case you're wondering the bow does not move on the back um, articulation is quite limited in the legs um, you know the arms nice and tight although the head is kind of loose um, and then you kind of got that you know mid body swivel going on right there and then just a bit of a close-up on the actual face of the man himself. There he is, Rodney Anoy, better known as Yokozuna. Samoan born, I think he was Samoan born. No, he's actually he, of, of a Samoan descent, born in the United States. Um, I think he was born in San Francisco, actually. California, maybe I might be wrong about that. Who knows, I'm just guessing. Um... Yeah, this figure is really nice. I like the traditional like look. Once again, a bit of a close-up talking about that hair as we were before. Very nice, very nice. Anyway, let's move on to the next figure, shall we? And now on to Rocky Maivia. This, of course, was his debut into the WWF, as it was called back in the time. Uh, in, it was at the 1996 Survivor Series, uh, I do believe. So, getting a look here at the actual figure itself with that, uh, I don't know what to really call it, like, shoulder pad tassel thing. Um, it's really nice, like, you know, these tassels, they're like, you know, loose, flowy, looks really cool. You know, um, at the time when The Rock obviously made his debut, he was really pitched as like a super baby face, although the fans weren't really having his smiley attitude. But as we all know, um, his legendary status would soon come around as he took on the moniker of The Rock. And that's something I could go on about for ages. But nonetheless, I'm just going to keep it short and sweet and say, this is what we very first saw when The Rock came into professional wrestling. And needless to say, a lot of people didn't really like it. But I must say, for the time, um, you know, this attire is just so 90s. It's so, like, just even, like, the Samoan pattern on it, too. Like, that little tribal pattern. Just, like, colors. Like, it's just very Polynesian. Uh, I hope that's, that's fair to say, you know. And I like it. I like 
the nice little patterns on the elbows. I like how like the tights match up, um, or you know, trunks rather. The knee pads pretty much the exact same as the elbow pads. Like overall, the color scheme to it is just very cool. And then the white boots, you know, it just set it off super super nice. But um, I think we should get this little uh, little entrance gear off of him and see what he looks like without it, shall we? And for anyone wondering how this uh, thing came off, basically it just kind of unclips on the bottom there. So super easy to take off. Yeah, a little bit more of a close up there on that shoulder pad tassel thing. Yep, that's what I'm calling it. <laughs> now, here we go. Not really much uh, to be surprised about here, as you can see in his full wrestling gear. Um, but I think the one big thing that stands out with this action figure, as opposed to any other rock action figures, is I mean, just get a look at this face. And of course, that like jerry curl type fro cut, I don't even know what to call it. It's just, yeah, it's, it's debut Rocky Maivia. And it's awesome. I think this is a really cool figure. And part of it obviously just goes into the attention to detail with, of course, you know, like I said, the, um, the design around the knee pads, around the trunks. Like I said, the color scheme, the white boots. It's very nice. It's very historically accurate too. I love this figure. Mattel, thank you so much for making this figure. I don't really think there's much else I can say about it. I mean, you've seen it there. Um, I think we got to move on to the final figures, that is of course the Wild Samoans. Let's get on to them, shall we? And it's Wild Samoans time. Now, uh, if I am correct, I believe, um, as they come around here, the one that you'll first see here, this is... Uh, Affa Annoy, and then this here is Sika Annoy. I hope I'm right on that. Um, these guys were a little bit before my time. They were um, they were around the WWF in the early 80s, I believe, and they were also managed by Captain Lou Albano. Um, it would be so cool, Mattel, if we could get a Captain Lou Albano manager type figure somewhere down the line too. That would be really awesome. But anyway, onto the figures at hand here. Um, they both have, like, you know, the whole Samoan spike, um, you know, thumb thing, similar to, like, what Umaga has in his figure. Um, I'm not too sure if they did that move. Um, from my research, I found that, you know, their, their finishing move was, like, a, a double headbutt, which I remember watching, like, old VHS tapes of the WWF with these guys, um, and I remember that that finishing move and I think it was pretty cool but yeah I don't really know if they did any type of like spike um, or any variation of it to my knowledge but then again that's why you guys who are watching feel free to correct me in the comments anyway that's enough for these guys in their uh, in their traditional wraps here let's take these off and take a look at what they look like in their wrestling attire and once again, for anyone wondering how these uh, little wraps came apart, um, you know, these are just made out of rubber, so they just simply like click apart like that there. So super easy to take off, and there's more of a little detailed look at the print on them. Um, I'm sure these are actually called like an actual name, but forgive me, I am unaware at the moment. So once again, Correct me on that if you have the knowledge. Now, here we go, taking a look at the figures as they come around. Got them posed, giving a thumbs up here. I must admit, I really like the um, real simple black and yellow attire. As you see, it says Samoa on both sides. These guys right here, these are some bad looking dudes, I'm telling you. But these guys, no doubt about it, paved the way for, uh, for a lot of their family and other wrestlers of Polynesian descent so you know you got to give these guys mad props for that um, we'll take a look individually at them um, now like I said I think ooh, I think this here is uh, who did I say it is? I think this is Sika so 
Got to get a look at this um, nice little throw here. I mean, you know, it's a bit, it's a bit shoddy, but nonetheless, it's sculpted pretty well. Like at a distance, I don't think it really matters because, um, you know what? It, it's not that bad. It's actually pretty good. I like it. The whole like kind of fro shaggy hair. I like it. Looks really good. Even the beard is like sculpted on nice and well. That uh, snarling face. That's awesome too. And yeah, the bodies, they're pretty much near identical. So there you go. And bare feet, similar to Yokozuna. And this, uh, this I am guessing is Afa. Take a look at Afa. Rather than a beard, he's just got the goatee. Um, and his hair, kind of more shaggy. Not really um, poofed up, so to speak. Um, yeah, I hope I don't sound too uncultured. <laughs> <laughs> with my description here but hey I'm just trying to call it as I see it once again a bit of a snarling face there and I think we got a bit of uh, a little bit of glue here on the side of the figure see if we can kind of scrape that off with the uh, trusty Swiss army knife in a second hopefully not damaging the face but um, yeah nonetheless it's just a nice clean simple attire love it very awesome. Let's get a look at them together, nice and close. Bam! There you go. Afa and Sika Annoy, the Wild Samoans. Right there. Okay, here we go. It's time to finally give all these figures which you've seen right now a 1 to 10 score. So let's get to that. And here we are, almost at the end of the video. I do understand it's probably been a bit drawn out. It's gone on a lot more longer than I anticipated, but if you've stuck around this long, please know that I appreciate you. And as a sign of gratitude, I would really like if you guys could slap a like on the video. It means so much to me. Even more so than that is when you guys comment. I mean, really, you can say anything and everything. I just appreciate that you're interacting with the content and um, it makes me feel inspired to do more. So. Once again, if you enjoy the video, make sure you like, make sure you comment, and if you ain't subscribed, maybe you should consider doing that too. But anyway, let's give these guys a final review score, starting off with Yokozuna. Honestly, um, I really like that this figure has like the nice alternative attire colors, um, but it's really nothing special. The thing that really makes it for me is honestly this like cool checkered pattern robe. Um, but when it comes to the face scan, it's just kind of, eh, whatever. But, um, based on the figure as a whole, I'm going to give it a 6. So, from 1 to 10, Yoko gets a 6. Moving on to The Rock, Rocky Maivia, whatever you want to call him. Um, I really like this attire. Once again, to show you the little, uh, little entrance piece he comes with here. I think this is really sweet too. Um... You know, just the color scheme of the attire, the face scan is just absolutely everything. From 1 to 10, Rocky Maivia, he is getting a 8.9. Uh, I think this is a really good figure, but, you know, another accessory, be it a microphone or, heck, even a water bottle, I think that would have been really cool. But... As it stands, I'm going to give it an 8.9. Anyway, moving on to the Wild Samoans. Um, just getting a look at these right here. The little entrance cloth things that are made out of rubber. Um, yeah, these are really nice little touch. You know, not really too crazy on the accessories uh, for these guys. But you know what, I think what more than makes up for these guys is that there's actually like a bit of weight to them. Um, I would say probably more so than Yoko. Yoko for some reason feels a little bit lighter. I don't know, maybe they might be the same, but either way, like they're two big bulky figures and they look amazing. I like the simplistic attire. Um, I like the little entrance wraps. I think for these guys, they're gonna get a solid 7.5 out of 10. So there you go. That is the review. I hope you have enjoyed. As a little bonus, I'm gonna just do a little comparison here of two figures which I have that are similar. You guys might remember from some of my most recent videos taking a look at this right here, a ringside collectibles rock with 
the RM on the trunks. What is up with that? He was going by the rock at the time. What is this RM? Anyway, I'm not going to get into that again. Um, let's compare these two figures here. Honestly, um, you know, I'm not too keen on this figure, but nonetheless, you know, it's nice to have it. I do appreciate it, but yeah, without a doubt, this is the way better figure. You know, love the color scheme. This face scan is just everything, like that smiling Rocky Maivia. <laughs> I love it. Um, and then a little bit of a comparison with Yoko Zuna. So with this figure, I, uh, you know, I was a little bit bummed out that there's, you know, some minor like paint defects. You know, you can kind of tell on like the robe there. It looks like it's kind of discoloring. Now I was able to get that mark off the back by just gently scraping it with my knife. Um, but where it comes to like these marks on the shoulder here, um, I couldn't quite get them off. A little bit more over here too. I mean, it sucks, but you know, it is what it is. Um, so yeah, this figure is really cool, but what I think is even cooler is this right here. It is the uh, Hall of Fame Yokozuna that came with two tag team title belts. I really love the face scan on this one. Once again, it's similar to like the other figure. It just all comes down to the face scan. You know, you got the detail and like the little beard there. Um, and then, you know, he's kind of got like the whole ponytail action going on here as opposed to like the sumo ponytail tied up there. You know, honestly, I think just noticing the ponytail on this one, I think what I might do is uh, head swap this onto here. But yeah, out of these two figures, this is definitely the better one. Um, so yeah, there's just a little comparison to end things. Um, once again, hope you enjoyed the video. Have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.